Okay, so once you join Smart Music, you're gonna find this. I haven't posted any assignments for anybody yet, but what I want you to do is look on the right here and there's some music categories. This is where you can find all the music. So if you click on band and orchestra, you're gonna get I'm using a school Chromebook. This is my son's. So you're gonna get all the orchestra music and band music. So you might find it useful to go over here to the left and click string orchestra because that's gonna be just us. Then you can filter this to find just some more specific for us. So difficulty we, our music generally falls in the medium easy and medium range. Um, so, once you have all that in place, you're gonna find some music in here that you can really play. Now, the, over here, the, these colors are um, for rankings for difficulty as well. And there's pages and pages of music here. Now, I am going to try to jump to the S's. Let's try page 8. Because if you wanted to find Spartacus, well, actually, you might even, you guys are better at it than I am, some of you, but, oh, yes. You can search up here at the top. If you know the title of the piece, let's say we're going to do Spartacus. Spartacus. And hit Enter. Here it comes, and there it is. The next thing you have to do is click on the title. And in every case, no matter what piece you decide to try, you're gonna have to do some stuff over here on the side. It says open, and you can change your part. If you're, especially if you're first or second violin, you might have to change this by choosing here. But if you've already set yourself up for whatever instrument you play, it'll come right up. And then you hit open. It will load. And the next thing that we're going to do is talk about some of the settings up at the top. And this goes for any piece that you try to play along with. And this program is really great. Um, it can be a little bit slow. Up here it says microphone. I'm going to click allow. But it really doesn't matter. The microphones on these things are not great. And if you try to play this and you get a lot of red notes, it could be not your fault. It could be the timing and it could be bad audio. So up here at the top, the accompaniment, yes, you want that on. Otherwise, you're not going to hear the whole rest of the orchestra. So this is what it looks like if it's off. Yes, you want that on. I always put my part on when I do this at school with you guys. And it definitely helps to have the metronome on. Looks like the volumes are pretty much up. Over here is the tempo marking. So if you feel that this is way too fast, or any song is way too fast, you can slow it down by clicking the minus, or you can speed it up, clicking the plus sign. It's going to give you the option to hit play, and that's what I would do next. Don't worry about recording, play. Get your instrument ready and be ready to go, because what'll happen is it'll give you a click after you hit play. One, two, ready, go. And you would just play along with the cursor. And stop it. There's lots of different things to do up here at the top. Like I said, I'm not actually giving you any assessments. If you wanted to practice one specific part, you can click loop and you can set your loop by using your cursor and select any of the measures you want to play over and over again. 
Um, let's see here for display. I don't think I use that one at school. So anyway, this gives you, I hope, some help as to how to navigate this site. The next thing I'm going to do is make a different video to help you find some good site reading examples. But like I said, what, what, you, what I just showed you here was all about getting some good orchestra music to play. So I'm going back over here. There's lots of different titles and you can find stuff we've already played. A lot of the music that Mr. C gave you in fifth and sixth grade is in this program. Um, let's clear out this one. And again, you're gonna pick band and orchestra first. Then you select string orchestra. Then difficulty. It's in these categories, very easy, easy, and medium easy that you're gonna find our pieces, our middle school pieces. But feel free to try all of them. Uh, like I said, you can just click on, let's say, just medium easy, and it'll bring up all of the medium easy pieces in the Smart Music Library, and you can play along with any of them. Please enjoy this program because it's not usually free, and usually we only have it at school. So, um... I think it would be really fun for you to give yourself something to practice, maybe pick one a day. And um, if you find any music on here that you really love, then let me know. Maybe we can order it. See you soon, I hope.